What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here, bringing you another video. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about Cobra Kai Season 4. I finished Season 4, so today we're going to digest like my feelings on it, positives, if I have any negatives or anything like that, feelings on the characters, how, I'm going to, how we're going to be going into Season 5, what are my thoughts and stuff, because now I'm pretty close. Once I finish Season 5, then all we got to do is wait for season six to come out and then like i said i'm probably gonna i've had some people say they want me to do just episode by episode so when season six drops i might actually do reviews for every specific episode just to really go through that that season the finale and all that kind of stuff and actually might have some fun other cobra kai videos too maybe plan like you know ranking the characters possibly or favorite fight scenes stuff like that so we got we got a lot of content like i said that i want to plan for this you know finale season that's upcoming but yes today we're going to be talking about the fourth season so leave your thoughts and all that kind of stuff in the comments section i would love to hear from you so let's do this roll it Cobra Kai season four, starting off with a, just a fun little banger because this is an interesting one because we have finally Daniel and Johnny supposedly having to team up because they need to take out Cobra Kai. We have the deal, kind of the shake and like, you know, handshake man deal between all three that whoever wins the tournament, if Miyagi-Do or Eagle Fang win the tournament, they can knock Cobra Kai out and they won't be able to be a dojo anymore. Kreese would have to leave. And same goes for if Cobra Kai wins, same deal. Uh, Daniel and Johnny wouldn't be able to practice as senseis and their dojos would be gone. So it's, you know, we're, we got a lot of tension going on going into the sports season. And once right off the bat, when I heard about what was going on with the sports season, I was for sure wanting them to do at least committing two episodes to the tournament because we knew we were building up for more characters being in the tournament. There's three separate dojos now, so I knew I wanted at least two episodes, and I was glad that we did eventually. When I got to episode 9 and 10, I was very happy that we got two full episodes of pretty much a lot of tournament stuff. So that was really fun. But going back to the beginning of the show, like I said, coming back to Johnny and Daniel having to work together. That's one thing. I knew there was going to be a lot of tussling, a lot of fighting, and stuff like that, and oh, your way, this way, you know what I mean? My way is better and like all this kind of stuff trying to train. So we did a lot of that bickering back and forth thing for like the first two, you know, episodes, a couple episodes. Got a little bit annoying, but then we had a fun episode where Johnny and Daniel like taught each other their own style of karate, like kind of their way and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That was very interesting. And I like that how I wanted them to have a better understanding. But then also, again, we had some kind of soap opera child stuff going on when Johnny sees uh miguel trading with daniel and sees miguel he's wearing like the miyagi do headband and stuff like that and johnny's just like what are you trying to weasel your way in on my student and stuff like that so i can see that jealousy i can see that factor in it and especially because johnny you know robbie his son is now with you know cobra kai and stuff so it's like i can see where he might feel like oh i'm losing another student to him and stuff but i feel like that jealousy that you know rage that anger he has for Daniel is what's keeping a, a, like a distance between him and Miguel I feel like Miguel is like already down for Johnny no matter what it's just he wants to learn from Daniel because like I said he's in this season starting to date Samantha so they're becoming a thing and you know Daniel's her father so he really wants to learn from him as well so I think Johnny needs to understand that and I really wish he would have uh, sooner than he did in the season one other thing is we have Samantha and Tori, another huge storyline. They are becoming very prominent, the main girls between the dojos and stuff like that. And, you know, having Tori become more of a three-dimensional character with dealing with her job and her family and stuff. And even Amanda LaRusso steps in and she has climbed the ladder heavy in terms of my favorite characters. Amanda's climbing the ladder because she's consistently the... I want to say one of the most grounded characters and I like how she's willing to help and like she just doesn't do anything like that pisses you off or that's egregious she's just a really solid character and if she does make mistakes she's out there to fix it you know what I mean so I think Amanda LaRusso you know is one of the best characters in this show also we have Kreese calling Terry, you know, because he has to team up now against two sensei masters and two different dojos. So he calls Terry and we know Terry Silva and that's, you know, 
from the previous Karate Kid films and one that pulled, pulled Ralph Macchio's character in, you know what I mean, Daniel, to being a Cobra Kai and stuff and kind of broke him down. So it was really interesting to see that, you know, kind of backstory. And like this one actually had some good flashbacks. This season had some decent flashbacks between Kreese and him that I actually liked. The other ones from season three, I was getting kind of tired of. This season, I actually appreciated the flashbacks. I felt they served just the story a little bit more. I know that last season they were kind of setting up Terry and that, you know, introduction, but I just, I felt the flashbacks better in this season. Then we have an introduction of our new character. I forgot who, uh, forgot who it was, but Robbie and Ajubi, he met that guy and they ended up becoming friends after they had that tussle and fought each other. And, you know, and now his, his younger brother's having trouble and is getting picked on by Daniel's youngest son, which he, he looks crazy. I thought that was hilarious, that joke that Johnny had when he saw him and he's like, what happened to you, kid? You switched to Whopper Juniors? Like, Johnny has some of the best one-liners in this entire show. And like I said, he's he's easily still my favorite. Johnny, Miguel, and Amanda are probably easily my three favorite characters so far that have been consistent throughout the entire show that I love. And man, yeah, this, this was just a really good season for me because the only, like, I'm trying to think of negatives. I really am because I still have fun with this show. But my main problem with this season, if anything, was that it felt a little rushed. It did feel a little rushed. And there were some moments where I wish we could have spent some more time on things. Like when, um, for instance, well, an example, you know, we're talking spoilers and stuff. For instance, when Johnny and Eagle Fang have to scoop up a female competitor because the um, fighting committee releases that thing that they have to have a skills competition and a female uh, division that they go out to scoop out a competitor and they find that girl from the debate team that it's just really fast you don't get a chance to really get connected to her character or get built into her character you know tori and samantha are going to be in the finals you know what i mean like there's no way that you're thinking oh this chick's gonna help eagle fang like there's just no way you know so i wish they would have did a little bit more kind of just taking their time with some of the characters and building them up even that new character that robbie sensei's in he gets more attention than her of course but I still feel like they could have spent a little bit more time on them, but I was very happy that they get like committed, like I said, the last two episodes straight up to mostly all competition content when we get there and seeing the dojos fight and the skills competition was really fun. It's intense. I liked seeing Dimitri there. I think it's awesome that Hawk ended up joining Miyagi-Do. That's fantastic. And he's climbing the ladder too is one of my favorites. He's probably in my top five favorite characters too as well. And man, yeah, it was just a really fun time, those last two episodes, because the kids are getting so good and you're seeing them compete. And then they had the the fights and stuff. And the, I think they built it up nice. Like when you got to those final battles, I just I hated seeing Miguel go down like that. But I knew going into the tournament, you saw that hesitation in Miguel's face that he wasn't all in it. He just, even from the beginning, before anything really went down or stuff was said, like Miguel wasn't, you know, he just wasn't all in it. And yeah, he like, and then he hurt his back again and like kind of twicked and pulled his muscle and stuff and kind of walked out and gave up on him. But yeah, John, I can tell Johnny feels bad and he wants to make up for it and stuff like that and try to go get Miguel because now he's on a mission to go find out who his father is and go meet his father. So he's going to Mexico City. So yeah, it's a journey for Miguel, which that I'm excited for because it's him trying to discover where he came from. And that's everybody deserves that. You know what I mean? If he wants to know, then let him know and stuff. But I know, like I said, it's scary that, uh, was it Carmen said that the dad doesn't even know that he exists. So it's, it's going to be intense. We're going to see what happens. So I'm assuming Johnny's storyline for the next season is going to be going to get Miguel and finding him and kind of pulling him back. And, you know, I'm hoping nothing crazy happens, but we'll see. We will see. We had a good moment with Robbie, though, how after the tournament, you know, and he lost to Hawk, how after the tournament, he came to Johnny and told him and like talked to him, you know, and kind of got emotional with him. That was a very powerful moment that I appreciated. Kreese getting betrayed by Terry. We saw that coming. Like I saw that coming for sure. And man, Stingrays, they're making him an interesting character now, that boy. But yeah, that, that was messed up what Terry did to him, man. It's two evil guys running Cobra Kai right now. They're just so demented these guys so yeah they're setting up some cool things for season five i think i might like this season a bit more than season three as it stands right now i might like season four a bit better 
mainly because the tournament was a lot of fun. I think it paid off. It was cool seeing a lot of the moments for Dimitri, for Hawk, you know, even Samantha and Tori, even though she didn't win and Tori won. And it kind of sucks that Terry, you saw him like kind of paying off that ref. So it really sucks that it kind of cheapens her win because she felt like she finally had something, you know what I mean? So they're making these characters have very interesting arcs going into season five. Let's see how they juggle this bad boy because I'm very excited. So, But I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Let me know what you thought of season four. Is this one of your favorites? What are some of your favorite character arcs, favorite moments from this season? I would love to hear from all of you. And probably also at after I see all the seasons and we're done with season six, I'll probably rank them all. That'll be a fun video. And I might, you know, or maybe join somebody's, you know, channel we'll do a live stream i know jason and mike really love it so i would love to do maybe like a season ranking with them and we could talk about why our seasons are our favorites and stuff that would be pretty badass so yeah definitely stay tuned to the channel be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing because i got a lot of other videos coming out you got to be sure click that notification bell so you're notified anytime i post a video <coughs> excuse me but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day Peace out.